This is a story that is so crazy, the sheer craziness of it might just slip by you if you don't really pay attention. Let's give it a listen. She spoke with neighbors who were aware of the man's mental health problems. Jules? Yes, and I should first say that Walnut Creek police are calling this a tragedy. And as you can see, neighbors are leaving flowers here at the spot where Miles was shot and killed yesterday afternoon. Neighbors knew he had mental illness. Police had been called to the house in the past, but no one would have thought he would have died like this. We don't know what went down at the very end. And we'll so heartbroken. Neighbors say Miles has struggled with mental illness for years and sometimes had outbursts. They say his parents were constantly updating friends and neighbors about how Miles was doing, even sending out emails. The parents have said, be aware that our son has this mental condition and don't be afraid. But Walnut Creek police say around 441 yesterday afternoon, Miles' grandmother called 911, saying her grandson was threatening her. One minute later, a neighbor called and said they could hear fighting and a possible gunshot coming from a home on Sandra Court. Six minutes after the first emergency call, police say Miles' mother called 911, saying her son was being violent, smashing windows, and threatening her with a metal pole with a pointed end. Police say she told dispatch her son had mental health problems and would be aggressive with police. But neighbors saw the gentler side of Miles growing up. He's, He's in his young 20s, grew um, up in the neighborhood. Known him since he Young. was four, and he's just, he's got a heart of gold and just an amazing kid. Police say when they arrived to the scene, Miles was walking on Arlene Lane, holding the pry bar. Police say they ordered him to drop it, but instead, Miles started running towards them. Police say they first fired multiple rounds of bean bags, but Miles kept charging at them. They say that's when two officers fired handguns at him. Okay, so this is Walnut Creek, California. Whenever you talk about white wine and brie and every other caricature of uh, goofy white liberals that live in the suburbs of San Francisco, this is where they're talking about. Yep, been there many times. If you go there to visit there to play golf or something, it's a nice place. Okay, so, but here the th here's the thing. If I had told you that, in, that there's a neighborhood in California where the black parents send out emails updating them on the mental illness of their black son who is prone to violence and all the neighbors were okay with that would you would you have believed me I wouldn't have I wouldn't have because when I hear the story of a uh, a mental violent mentally ill person in a neighborhood and everybody in the neighborhood is okay with that I would say are you insane are you insane for welcoming this mentally ill, violent person into your neighborhood. You don't think you're putting your children, your grandchildren, your uh, everybody else at risk. You think you can just live with violent, mentally ill people. And yet the parents were sending out emails, updating all their friends on how little Johnny, or whatever the hell his name was, is doing. Please, sir. I want some more. And then everybody acts surprised when Johnny goes violent on a cop after he went violent on his parents and grandparents in that same neighborhood many times before. It's interesting to speculate. Okay, I'm going to do something that I tell you guys not to do all the time. But what if, uh, what if a conservative moved in there and started wearing, started flying a Trump flag in that neighborhood or wearing a MAGA hat? I don't think those people would have been as into as tolerant of him or them as they were uh, as of this violent black person whom we are told is mentally ill, which we hear so much these days. Because I guess if you say somebody's mentally ill, that relieves them of all responsibility for anything they just did, which is better than making the black kids angry.